This month, Chicago is celebrating its heritage as the birthplace of gospel music. Some of the original pioneers are still singing today. And Natalie joins us live now with more. Natalie. Chicago isn't just the city of big shoulders. It's known internationally as the city of big voices. He's the Vernon Oliver Price is one of Chicago's first famous gospel singers. I just enjoy singing, so here I am at 91 still singing. Her close friend is a small but mighty force in Chicago's gospel music scene. For more than 70 years, Dr. Lou Della Evans-Reed, known compassionately as Mama Lou, has directed some of the greatest gospel music choirs in Chicago. Maybe in 48. And do you like 1948. 1948. 1948. 1948. I, I, I'm a young girl, you know. I'm young. Gospel music is so impacting. It's in power. It has a story. They're able to see what you are singing about, feel what you are singing about, and most of all, to live what you are singing about. This is the nation's very first gospel music choir. It was established at Bronzeville's Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church in 1931. In a time when African Americans couldn't live in certain places in Chicago, for example, couldn't eat in certain restaurants, uh, were you know, discriminated against in every which way, gospel music provided that uplift that you needed. The hand clapping, the swaying, the intense attack on the, the lyrics and the drive. That is a real churchy sound that, that really developed in Chicago back in the 1930s and 40s. And you still, still hear elements of it today in gospel music. Gospel music means everything to Chicago. The city wouldn't be the same if it wasn't for gospel music. Over the years, Chicago churches have provided more opportunities for youth to embrace the music. Now they have steppers, we have gospel rap, um, you have praise dancers. Contemporary has been added and rap and all of this, and I'm not knocking that. But I will tell you this, can't nothing beat gospel music. They are the living Chicago history of gospel music. It has done more, and it will continue, but it, I think that it really was meant for it to do, to really impact people and just send them home feeling much better, that they want even more. Right. And if you want to hear more, many of Chicago's great gospel choirs can be heard live during virtual Sunday services. I'll link a few to this story on Fox32Chicago.com.